Hi Year 3, I hope you all had a lovely weekend. Welcome to the first of this week's spelling and handwriting lessons. Before we get started, I wanted to share some of the children that I spotted in a brilliant job on Spelling Shed at the end of last week. In each class look, these are the top three. Lily, Summer and Joseph in 3B. Kaylee, Henry and Ivy in 3C. Cameron, Isabella and Toby in 3H and Amelia, Grace and Natalie in 3P. Well done to you guys, you will all be getting some dojo points and even if you didn't quite make it onto the top three this week but you did work hard on Spelling Shed, still well done, great job. And overall in the whole of year three, the three children who collected the most points in third place, it was Amelia in 3P. In second place, Cameron in 3H. And finally, in first place, a massive well done to Kaylee in 3C. You'll be getting some extra dojo points for making the top three in the whole year band. Great job, well done. Now, in our spelling lessons this week, at the start of each lesson, I'm gonna to talk to you about one of those tricky year three slash four words that we try and learn throughout year three and four. And I've picked some that I think will be really useful if we're doing any writing about our new topic of magic. And the first one is, well, can you read it? Believe. Do you believe in magic? And whenever we're trying to learn a tricky spelling, one of the things that I like to do is have a little look in, in the word closely and see if I can spot any other little words that might help us remember. Can you spot any little words in the middle of belief? Well done if you spotted. Well, firstly, I can see at the start. Let's see if the pen will work this morning. Oh, it will the word B, but also this really important one. What's that word hidden in the middle? That's right, it's lie. And if you can remember how to spell lie, and you remember when you spell believe that it has lie in the middle, you should be able to remember how to spell it. So whenever I think of believe and try to spell it, I think never believe a lie. And that reminds me that lie is in the middle of it. Let's say the letters B, E, L, I, E, V, E, Believe. And what I'll do each day is I'm going to add those words onto the top of the board so that we can practice them at the start of every session and before we start our learning for the day. Let's get started. Let's see if we can read these words on the board. Anxious. Brave. Slow. Rude. Selfish mysterious and sad. Are those words verbs, doing words? Are they nouns or are they adjectives? Well done if you said that all of those words are adjectives. They could, used to be, they could be used to describe things, normally describe a noun. Now, as you know, our topic is magic and I've been practicing my magic and I wonder if using my magic wand, I could make these change from adjectives into a different type of word. Are you ready? Abra, cadabra. Have I done it? So what's changed about those words now? Because these are our spelling words for today. These words have been changed from adjectives into adverbs, words that describe how something is being done. And you might have noticed that they've been changed by adding two letters at the end. A suffix. A suffix is a group or a letter that goes at the end of a word to change its meaning. And in all of these words, which two letters have been added? Well done. It's the L-Y suffix. Should we read some of these words now that we've added the suffix on? Anxiously. Bravely. Slowly. Rudely. Selfishly mysteriously and sadly. Now, now that we've got these words here, we're gonna practise the handwriting part. Now I'm gonna see if I can choose a few to write out really neatly, but before we ever do any handwriting, we need to warm our fingers up in the same way that we warm our bodies up for PE. So, I've got a suggestion for you today. If you're at home and you can go on the internet, why don't you on go, go on Go Noodle like we do in school? And if you scroll down through the Go Noodle, the three things that anyone can use, you might remember in school that we looked before at Brain Aside with Mr. Catman. And Mr. Catman, as well as doing some more active things as well, he's got some things like swirly fingers that are all to do with using your hands in different ways that will warm your fingers up for doing some fantastic handwriting. Right, 
Let's see if I can write out any of these spelling words neatly. I'm going to start today with sadly, and I'm going to think each time about which letters are tall letters ascenders, which letters are descenders, which are the letters that go below the line, and I'm going to think about how I join and form my letters really carefully. Right, sadly. Let's check the pen works first. S, I know fits between the lines, and then I'll come back up to join to my A. I know that D is an ascender, so it must go up taller than the A. The L is also an ascender in the suffix, and the Y is a descender, so it's got a tail that goes down and just touches that red line. Today, all you'll need is some paper, but if you have got some lined paper, it doesn't have to have these handwriting lines, but if you've got some lines on your paper, that will be extra useful, because then you can show which ones sit on the line, go taller, or go below the line. Let's try another one. This time, I'm gonna try a tricky one, anxiously. Let's think about how I could spell it using my L-Y suffix. Now I know it starts with the A, and that has a tail that can join up to the N. Now, X I know in year three, we don't join, we leave that one on its own. But then, I can do the I, the O, the U, the S, and now from the bottom of the S, I can come all the way up for my ascender for the L, and then the Y. The first part sits on the line, the second part comes down because it's a descender. Is there anything I need to go back and do? That's right, well done if you spotted that at the end, I need to go back and dot my eye for anxiously. Right, I think before it's your turn, I'd like to have a go at the trickiest one of all from today's spellings, which was mysteriously, a word we could definitely use when writing about magic because magicians often do things in a mysterious way. Let's see. I know the M starts between the line, just sits on the line, but then it's got a Y, which I already know is a descender. Now we don't join our descenders at French, we don't join that Y, that can stay there, and I'm gonna come back up for my S. M, Y, S, mist. Now the T comes up towards the top, however, it doesn't always go all the way. There's the I, the O, the U and the S fit between with the fit between the blue lines, and now it's that suffix you change mysterious to mysteriously. The L is an ascender, and it's really important that that Y is a descender. Is there anything I need to go back and do because I've joined my writing? Well done. I need to dot my I and I need to cross my T on the line as well. Right, now it's your turn for today. Let me show you your challenges. The one chilly challenge is that I'd like you all to try and log on to Spelling Shed today and practice the assignment that's been set with lots of words ending L-Y. The two chilly challenges, well, we thought of seven L-Y spellings today. They were the ones that were on the board, but I'm sure there are lots more. Can you try and think of lots more adverbs ending L-Y and how neatly can you write them? Can you make sure that your tall letters are tall, your low letters are, your descenders are low and below the line? And finally, the three chilli challenge. Well, the adverbs that we thought of today, like slowly, sadly, anxiously, I didn't have to do anything to that root word, the original adjective, before I added L-Y. I wonder if that's always the case. Does the root word always stay the same when we add L-Y? And maybe, can you investigate that for me? And we'll have another look tomorrow when we do our second spelling lesson of the week. If you make a lovely list of neatly written adverbs and maybe you find some root words that don't stay the same, let us know by emailing frank, year3 at frankprimary.worcs.sch.uk. We'll look forward to seeing that and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for our second spelling and handwriting session. Take care.